let's talk about finding and replacing text in your Word document. Uh, the find and replace always, always used to be under the edit menu. Now you're going to find it under the home menu. So if I pick on home here, you're going to come way, way over here to the right hand side and you're going to pick on find. Uh, so you can really just do a uh, click on find at that point. Now you can search for uh, one word or multiple words or a part of a word. You can really search for anything that might be in the document. So I'm going to look for the word server. And at this point, uh, here's some uh, some other options. You can make it case sensitive. You can, you can find whole words only. And there's different options that you can try here. But in this case, I'm just going to pick on find next. And what will happen is it moves to the next uh, okay occurrence of the word server in my document. So if I pick on find next, notice how it's going to the next line and find the next occurrence of the word server each time that you do that. So it's really easy to find your text. Now if you want to replace your text, we can do that as well. So I'm going to do a replace. And uh, let's just say that anytime that the word server appears I want to change, well actually I want to change uh, SQL Server. Let's say uh, I'm going to use a different type of system. There's one that's called MySQL. So, so you, you tell it what you're looking for and then you tell it what you're going to replace it with. Alright, now uh, a couple things about this screen. If I pick on replace, it'll change the current one and move to the next one. If I pick on replace all, then any time it finds the word SQL Server in the entire uh, document, it'll change it to MySQL. Uh, if you do a find next, it'll skip to the next one without changing the current one. Like I'm going to pick on find next, and, it, and it, uh, it brings you to that occurrence. Now here I can either replace that individual occurrence, do a replace all, or if we pick on find next, it'll skip to the next one without changing that one. So in fact, I am going to do a, well, I'll do a replace all. And now with replace all, it tells you how many occurrences that this has. This has 146 replacements. So I'm going to click on OK. And now you'll notice that instead of saying uh, Microsoft SQL Server, now it says Microsoft MySQL. So we do a find and replace. Uh, another thing I like about this screen is we can pick on go to. Now that means you can go to a specific page or there's other features that we can go to as well that we'll talk about in other videos. But right now, if I look at the bottom of the screen on the status bar, it says page 1 of 125. So let's say I want to go to page 100. Over here, I'm just going to type in uh, 100 or whatever page number that you wanted to. I'm going to click on go to and now it'll quickly go to page 100 as you can see. Now, of course, you can also scroll up and down in your document and uh, go, go to different pages that way. But here's a really quick way to go to a specific page. Under the Find and Replace, we picked on Go To. Let's say I want to go to page 50 and then click on Go To from there. And now you, you see we're on page 50. All right. So uh, now we know how to do a Find and Replace and also the Go To. Oh, by the way, a keyboard shortcut for your Find and Replace is Control F. If I do control F, notice how it brings up the same find and replace screen. A lot of people use that. Now, if the find and replace is something that you do all the time, then maybe you would put this icon on your quick access toolbar. To do that, just right click on the find icon and pick on add to quick access toolbar. And now you can see that up there. By the way, that's how to add any icon to your quick access toolbar. But find and replace is probably something that you do all the time. So now you know, now you know a couple ways to do a find and replace in Microsoft.